Okay, so we're checking out the only game that has dating apps that allows cannibals to find love. It's episode. More teen dramas with edible characters, dammit. Episode is a game that caters to a very specific group of people. That would be the screwed up group. As I understand it today, we will fall down the rabbit hole of dating websites and see horrible things. Clearly one or more people have already died. We're off to a good start. Your story starts in the same way that most teen dramas do. Yeah, I guess if the teen drama is Final Destination, dress like a f boy at a funeral. <laughs> I feel like Florida Man would be fantastic at giving like a funeral eulogy. He'd be like, those that are no longer here with us today are dead. Beers in the cooler. Your parents' funeral to be more specific. I'm very sorry for your loss. Florida Prince Jr. Anyone who was born in the late 80s or early 90s understands what's happening here. Oh, it's my lawyer. I managed to retain a Florida woman. This worked out well. When you're ready, I'd like to go over your parents' will with you. They have a very specific plan for your inheritance. How big of an inheritance are we talking about? Can't you see I'm grieving? Your timing is very inappropriate. Yay, let's get the money. Yay. Well, Madam Lawyer, the quicker I get paid, the quicker you get paid. I feel like I should ask her what her actual name is is because she's just called lawyer here. Let's get the money. So your parents noted down that you were a bit of a party animal. I mean, not really, I'm not in prison. That's a total lie. That's just a misunderstanding. That's an understatement. That's right, ma'am. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's listening to loud music and snorting fireballs. They put a clause here that says you can't access your inheritance unless and until you settle down with someone. What the hell kind of clause is that? Wait, how long does the settling down have to be for? What the fuck? I like that this development was so traumatizing that his eyes are focused in completely different places. They're dead. They can't force me to get married. He's not wrong. Florida Prince Jr., calm down. They're not forcing you to do anything. You only have to find a partner if you want your inheritance. What the hell is my inheritance anyway? As far as I know, it might just be a pile of alligator skulls. You can live without it. No, I can't. You said it yourself. I'm a party animal. So obviously I'm relying on this inheritance so I can maintain this lifestyle. Florida man is what we like to call a self-aware asshole. See, he's looking right at you while he says something this insensitive. Where am I supposed to find someone to shack up with on the long haul? Hall. I don't know, Craigslist? There's supposed to be an app for everything these days, right? Oh God, it's gonna be like Tinder, but it's gonna be like episode Tinder, so it's gonna be even worse. Like, do I get to specify what kind of person I'm looking for at least? Oh God, this looks like straight out of the Google store. Heart attack, really? Please enter your name, Florida Prince Jr. What is your sexual preference? Males, females, cannibals. I knew this was gonna make its way to the game somehow. Error, oh come on, <laughs> due to legal reasons, we have had to ban all cannibals from the app. That's not right. Please try again. Okay. How disappointing. <laughs> All right, I guess females. There's a tutorial? I thought it was like a dating app. What do I have to do? Best someone in gladiatorial combat? Heart attack will show you the names, ages, and faces of all the singles in your area. You can tap on the image to learn a bit more about them. If you like what you see, tap the tick and be sent on a date. Oh, I don't need to know about this. I'm dating everyone. I want the best possible chance of getting murdered. Do you understand? What happens if I click no? That sucks. <laughs> well, that's it. The tutorial just ends. I like that specifically, it's searching for hot singles. Sure, view matches. Oh boy, it's Lena, she's 24 and she's either pregnant or she's hiding like an eight year old under her shirt. It's just a food baby, I think you're lying. You know what, whatever, we're dating everyone. Hi, I'm Florida Prince Jr. One sec. The sex going on a lot longer than I thought it would. Who the hell were you talking to? What, does your fetus have a cell phone as well? She's like, oh yeah, I was texting him, just making sure he's developing all right. Sorry about that. I was just setting up some other dates in case this one sucked. Wow, we're off on the right foot. Gee, thanks. Sorry, let me buy you a coffee to make up for it. Okay, but it's gonna be an expensive coffee. So why are you still single, Florida Prince Jr.? Because the app got rid of all the cannibals. I just haven't found the right person. I'm unlikable. <laughs> I didn't want to be tied down. I kind of like this one instead. It's not too often I pick B, but we're gonna go for it. Lena, I have two qualities. I'm unlikable and I'm very honest. What made you want to start your search for love? My parents died. I want my inheritance. Who said anything about love? Yeah, technically I I just need someone who can hang around long enough to get paid, so. 
I just need to find someone who can stick by me until I can access my inheritance. My stupid parents added a clause that restricts me from it until I settle down. Oh, so you're not really here for a real relationship then? Have you seen the app? No, I don't think anyone is. In that case, there's something I need to confess to. Oh Christ. What is it you can tell me anything? Stop trying to take the attention away from me. I feel like you're trying real hard to one up me, Lena. But this is important and so <laughs> You're on a date with me, so you should want to talk about me to me. Someone needs to make like a little pamphlet and call it things to never say to a woman ever. And it's basically just every single sentence that comes out of his mouth. I'm pregnant. Wow. That's a... It's a plot twist. Actually, more of a plot twist than this is the fact that she gets two cups of coffee. Who's the second one for? I'm looking for someone financially stable to help me raise a baby. I mean, I'll have the financial part, just not really the stable part. You sound like you're about to come into a bit of money, Florida Prince Jr. I actually don't know that. I still don't know what my inheritance is. Are you suggesting I give you and your baby my money? Well, it sounds like you need someone like me to help you access it. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> In return, I would like a share of it. I think 40% is fair. Whoa, 40%? Listen, I worked hard to be the child of parents that have a lot of money. <laughs> I don't actually have a good response for this. 40%, are you crazy? See, he knows, that's almost half. That felt more like a business proposal than a date. I mean, yeah, it kind of did. She might actually be the best one. Let's see what else is out there. I got four more. I'm sure they can only get better. <laughs> oh damn, I'm going on a date with Penelope Cruz. Amy, 49. This girl also looks like she's already stacked. Hello, damn, your house is nice. What happened to your other husband? I'll bet Amy didn't have to marry someone just to get her inheritance. We don't know that. Hello, Amy, do you do yoga? Thanks for clicking on me on that app thing. How old are you again? What do you have, like Keanu Reeves in your blood? You look much younger, much older, the exact same. I'm not gonna lie, she does look much younger in person. But that's not what we do here. Seriously, how old are you? I didn't lie about my age, if that's what you're implying. I would never do such a thing. Sometimes I open my mouth and dumb sh just comes out. Fine, I did. What, wait, you did? I'm really 45. Oh, I think this is like legitimately the first time I've ever seen someone overstate their age. I only lied because I didn't want other cougars to feel threatened by my youth. <laughs> I am both appalled and intrigued by this reasoning. I really didn't ask. I'd much rather get to know you. What would you like to know? What are you looking for in a relationship? What is your financial situation like here? What are your turn-ons? I feel like her turn-ons are 19-year-old people from Florida. What's your financial situation like? Well, as you can see, I'm doing pretty well for myself. A few seconds later. We just had a really interesting conversation about how she was very adamant about owning everything and how the banks don't actually own it and how if they say they do, they're liars. Why do I feel like this woman has a mountain of debt? Why don't I show you the bedroom on the first date before the kitchen? Okay. I mean, it's episode. How can I say no? Here she is. What do you think? Your bedroom is a she? It's very pink. As long as the mattress works, I don't care. Actually, this comment is so dumb. I love it. Want to test it out? I'm surprised it took this long, Amy. Let's do it. Four hours later. Guess that's what it's like to be 19. Are they fucking jumping on the bed? Okay, legit. This is the first time I have ever played an episode episode where two people have gotten on a bed and jumped on it. So will I see you again? Amy, listen, you just jumped on a bed for four hours wearing stilettos, so yes. I like that we're looking at the other options on our phone while we're still in this lady's house. All right, who else we got? Jody. she's 23 and she likes to wear Doritos on her ears. Sounds perfect. Oh, hell yeah, we up here in the club. Hey, Jody. I'm Florida Prince Jr. Listen, the contact high is starting to kick in, so we should probably get this done pretty quick. How am I going to get her attention? Scream, cry, strip? Well, that escalated quickly. I think the answer was obvious. It got her attention. I like how her first question isn't like, why are you mostly naked? Her question is, are you my date? What the hell did I put on my profile? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear you over all of the music. Oh, you, but you can hear me with no clothes on. I'm here to get to know you. Maybe we could go someplace quieter to talk and miss the rest of the concert. Listen, Jody, I want two things in life, my eardrums and my inheritance. If you want to go somewhere quieter, you should have dated a librarian. You, 
I mean, touche. Oh, she walked out on me! That ended abruptly. She'll be regretting that when I'm dropping the big bills. All right, heart attack. I'm looking for like the number one contender next tier. Who do we got? Oh, sh is that a dead person? It's just a pair of legs. It's Molly, she's 21. Oh, I forgot you can click on this and find out a little bit more about it. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Is this like her death cry? Wait a second. If I date someone that's already dead, then I actually don't have to do any work to get the inheritance. It's like a win-win situation. <laughs> Damn it, she's still alive. Florida Prince Jr.? Yes, Molly, it is that. Wait a second, are you the same pair of legs that was in the picture? This girl has a lot of energy. <laughs> My date is here. It's so nice to finally see your face. Your enthusiasm is intimidating. I wouldn't have picked you if I knew you had pink hair. Molly, listen, we can't both have terrible fashion sense. It's what makes me unique. I don't know what to pick here. Your enthusiasm is intimidating. That's a big word. Wait, it, which part? Enthusiasm or intimidating? Or your? You're a big talker, Florida Prince Jr. It's a pretty basic word. Oh, I have an idea. I'm scared to ask. Let's do some shots. It's 11 a.m. We have no lemons. Okay. We're doing shots out of solo cups. What brings you to this bar? I mean, technically it was the bottom half of what I thought was a dead person. Our date. We're on a date? Oh God. Her obliviousness is off the chart. She's like a brain damaged chihuahua. You called me your date right before we did shots. Kids, this is why you don't drink and drive. You wanna do more shots? That's not what I said. I think you've had too much. Okay. Yeah, a little vitamin S never hurt anyone. Yeah. Look, I don't mean to be a party pooper. I'm normally the life of the party myself, but I need to find someone to spend the rest of my life with desperately. I mean, technically this girl's liver will probably stab her to death in two to three years. Well, what's the rush? The rush is a man named Benjamin. Him and all of his brothers. I need to access my inheritance, but there's a stupid clause getting in the way. So you have money? I mean, eventually. I just have to, you know, like settle down with and then potentially kill someone to get it. I will have money. I'd love to marry someone with money. For what, to pay off all your DUIs? Same. I'll tell you what, I'll be down for forever as long as you would be willing to support my drinking habits. Originally, I thought I was the honest one, but Molly is a strong contender and encourage alcoholism. Molly, are you, have you ever wrestled an alligator? Are you sure you're not from Florida? I'll be in touch. This was a, uh, this was a good talk. Sweet girl, but I can do better. I think there's only one more left, isn't there? Oh wow, we're doing, it's like all the marbles. It's just a girl in prison. Madeline, she's 26, she's behind bars. She could also be cosplaying, I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. Oh, we're, we're legit at the police station. Are you here to report a crime? I mean, maybe, is setting up a dating profile while you're in prison a crime? No, I'm here for a hot date. You came to the police station for a date? Can you take me to see Madeline? Right this way, wow. I like how this cop doesn't ask any questions. He's like, ah, I've been down this road before. Madeline, you have a visitor. You have five minutes. Sir, it'll only take me three. So what are you in for? How long are you in for? We better make good use of those five minutes. I kind of want to know what she's in for, but I also kind of want to leave it as a surprise for when we actually date her. So five minutes it is. Oh, he's getting right on it. Four and a half minutes later. I still got 30 seconds left. They're still wearing clothes. We didn't even get anywhere. What the hell's going on here? You should be used to this. Your five minutes is up. I knew we should have skipped the bells and whistles. I'll call you. I'll be here. I mean, she's not wrong. All right. It's time to decide on what my future is going to look like. Let's see. No. Ah, uh, yes. Let's do it. So I hear congratulations are in order. Yes. After spending an entire day scrolling through one dating app, this was the most decent person I could find who was willing to marry me. What a flattering description. I know she's quite old. Oh, you can go down that road. But think of it this way. She's closer to death, which means I won't have to share my money with her for very long. So how did things work out for you and Amy? Watch this. She ended up living until she's like 120. Oh, I'm crying. Actually, I'm not just crying. I would, I would call this sobbing. They didn't. No kidding. After six months, Amy took off with all of your money and left you with nothing. Amy, I think you underestimate Florida Prince Jr. That's what happens when you don't sign a prenup. Oh, look at how sad he is. He's like, I'm too young to be poor. I didn't even get stabbed with a loan shark's pool cue. Hold on, we gotta try again. Okay, we're trying this again, but we actually got to be a female this time. And this time, instead of dressed like a boy, it's dressed like a skate. 
<laughs> in case you're wondering, her name is uh, Flordesia Silverstone. All right, we're going with crazy prison girl. I hear congratulations are in order. Yes. I like how she did the thing where it's like, this is the most decent person I could find that would marry me. I found her in jail. She's still wearing the jumpsuit. So how do things work out for you and Madeline? All right, looking for the good ending here. Here we go. It looks like we're living in Flophouse. Great for Madeline. She stayed in the spare bedroom for the next several years while you catered to her every need. What the hell? God damn it, I lost my money again. <laughs> so I actually went through this and instead of picking someone, I just wanted to see what would happen if I didn't pick anyone. And it says that it seems that Heart Attack wasn't able to find you the perfect match today. Better luck tomorrow. Wait, so are the rumors true, Floridicia Silverstone? Are you really gonna give up your inheritance? Sadly, yes. I spent an entire day looking through the dating app. I couldn't find anyone worthy of my time. So I decided to say broken single. There is an ending for it. Okay, I'm gonna go with the drunk girl this time. It's time to become an enabler. There she is. Still wearing a skirt that looks like it's from a 60s lampshade. She's a party animal. We're a perfect match. Now we can both be indecent and go to jail together. So how did things work out for you and Molly? Oh God, please tell me. Oh my God, we're at another funeral. Wait a minute, why am I crying? This was actually the whole point. I got the inheritance and the person that I married died like immediately. After you received your inheritance, she went out on a bender and overdosed. You lost both your money and your chance at true love that day. Son of a bitch! I thought just Molly died, but I lost the money too? Now I'm really distraught. Well, guess I'll go get hammered in Molly's memory. <laughs> There's one thing that this episode has shown us, it's that they should have never gotten rid of the cannibals. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of episode. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.